What's up guys, so welcome back to the channel, welcome back for another sports unboxing. Let's go! Okay guys, so on this video, we will be opening my new rubbers for my Stiga hobby pad. So these are the Stiga rubbers, Dragon Grip and the Platinum. So without further ado, let's move on to the next camera and crack this open. Okay, so before I open these rubbers, let me just put this first on to the side. And let's just get my hobby pad first. Okay, so this is my Stiga Habibot. So this is the Pro Carbon Plus. So uh, this has served me a lot, even my students, since this has been used through lots of tournaments or games already. So I think it's time for me to be changing this one, though I think this still has power in it, but it's not enough for me I guess so I need to upgrade this one so this would be my uh, personal bat for this one since most of my students or players nowadays has their own rockets for their game so I'll be using this on my personal uh, games as well so before that let's measure first the weight of this bat okay so we have here a measuring tool let me just there this one okay so currently the bat weighs 175 grams with the rubber so later on as we remove the rubber and the side tapes I guess we need to measure it as well so be right back Okay, so I have finally removed the the rubber for this bat and let's try to measure it again. So on zero grams. Okay, so now it's on 91 grams. So basically it has like, oh, it goes 90. So somehow like it does have like 85 grams of rubber on it without the rubber it's 90 grams for this bat so let me just measure also the rubbers here okay, so let me just open first Okay, so we have here some things inside the rubber. Okay. Okay, so I think this is the uh, the sheet on top. So let's just measure this dragon grip. So the dragon grip has 77 grams. Let me just put this first on to the side. Let's open the DNA platinum. Same 
close it has at least paper oh this time this has no sheet or protective sheet okay so let's just measure this one it's 64 grams so let me just fix the table here and uh, here's some generic glue and some sponge to spread the glue and start with okay, so let me just so let me just align first the rubber here So this should be the center. As you can see, there's a an arrow. So I believe that's the center of this rubber. So flip it onto the other side. Maybe you can get the sheet there. Maybe I can use this one as the protection for the rubbers surface first okay. and then I'll just trace the sides of the bat so that we will not be wasting lots of glue for the insulation of this rubber so let me just fix it again okay I think that's good shake the glue and remove the excess okay, so Spread it evenly. that's enough okay, let me just build here mm, okay I'm supposed to glue or put glue on both rubbers but I guess let's just have this one by one I think the method is are just the same or it's just the same so this is not your first time watching this one for sure since you are in this video so be sure to have your blade ready and your rubber ready with the glue so I'll be applying like two to three glue layers after each every time it dries and So let me just be right back after I finish applying both sides of this rubber since this drying uh, time will take a few minutes or so so be right back okay so I have applied enough glue I guess so I have two uh, layers of glue for each of the rubbers while I have three layers of glue for each size of the blade so I will be installing everything here now so starting with the first one so this is the platinum s ok 
Okay, so I have here a roller, so be sure to have at least something like this so that you can roll up your rubber when installing it to the blade. So just do it thoroughly here, so just try to press down the rubber to the blade, just do it a few times and I guess that's it, okay, so I think it's ready to be trimmed out. One more. Let me just be sure onto the sides and the edge here. Okay. Oh, sorry for that. Okay, so I think that's enough. So it's time to trim the edge here so I'll be just doing it off cam I guess since my face camera just died so you will not be seeing me there so let me just trim this one and I'll just go add and stick on to the other rubber as well onto the other side so be right back Okay, so I'll be using here a regular cutter. I don't have a sharp uh, scissors, but you can do either way. So for me, I'll be using this sharp cutter to trim off the excess rubber here. Let me just stand a bit. That's it. I just need to trim this side, but I think that's it. Okay, let me just fix this side here. It's a little bit rough. I don't really have a sharp scissor to fix this one, but I think that's enough. So let me just fix the other. side okay so this is the dragon grip same goes and then try to roll especially on the edges so just try to roll going up like so and then try to fix the edges here Fixing this one a little bit more, and we're done. So let me just trim it as well.
and then voila everything is done so let's just pull back the weighing tool here let's see okay so let's see what is the total weight onto this rocket now so it is already 198 grams so let's just have the computation here on screen and there you go this is our new stiga carbon pro plus with the dna rubbers dragon grip and the platinum okay guys so there you go so we finally set up our new bat here with the stiga pro carbon plus with the new rubbers dna dragon grip and the dna platinum s so i don't know what would be the performance actually i don't really understand uh rackets as of now because of i'm just too new with uh custom rockets or uh built rockets so for now i'll be using this hobby bat and the new rockets i it feels like a little bit heavy on my hand uh, compared to the previous uh, rubbers onto this rocket but I think it has good performance since I am using the DNA rubbers of Stiga so I think that's all for this video uh, you can rate my in my build should I say just put it on the comment section below I'm not a pro in terms of building a rocket I'm just a new one doing this kind of stuff but I would like to learn more if you like, can teach me you can just put it on the comment section so if you like the video be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel because we still have more of this table tennis things and notify yourself every time we had a new upload power down Bye bye